Hey guys, it's been about a week since I uploaded a video. Today I just want to spend a little bit of time talking about time. We all have it. One thing that I've learned is that as a person who has golden hair from a person like a soldier, I also have a higher talent of time which does not go well with the doctors. I was told at one point that when they put me out, they have to use the same amount I knew that they use on a grown full-size male. Now, I'm only five foot ten, about a hundred pounds. So just imagine the surprise. The other thing was that I have small things. And I also have that because of the number of soldiers that I've had, it's hard for them to find a good thing. So, what St. Joe's has done is that they've tried a couple of different tricks. The first one, they tell you, you know, they tell you to put your fist in the ball with this. However, because of the numerous problems that they have trying to find my room, they told me to have it laid down. Well, so you can see my wings, but they're so fine and they're so hard to put the eyes in there. In fact, if you look close, there's a couple of marks from the last time that I had my scissors. And then the other thing that they did is that they put a warm, sorry about that, a warm, hot blanket on my arm because they said that it helps the blood flow. However, I'm sorry, once they get that in there, the arm becomes cold again because of all the fluid, the serum solution that the use comes from the fridge. So, usually after I get the air room in, it hurts. So I have my lips, my lips, and the, you know, so that the album doesn't pull. So, that's some tricks if you are parents of children that are terrified of noodles. There's some tricks that you can do to help them not do the fun. Well, at least try not to, because let's be honest. We all don't like noodles, and some of us do have the fear of them. So, just remember that if your child has a hard time, just tell them it'll be over soon, and if they hold their hand still, and in a couple of different places, maybe it'll go quick. The other thing that I tell them is that they have to Sorry, before they took me into the operating room, like, right before, I asked for the feel good medicine. Not the kind that they put in the soup box, because let's be honest, that's dangerous in the um, pre-op room. So they just gave me, you know, a little bit of something to help calm my nerves, which has helped quite a bit. The other thing is that if you go to a hospital and they know your concerns, that's really awesome. And so, you know, don't be afraid to speak up and don't be afraid to tell people how you feel. Because I learned that it's easier to do that than just to live through the pain. 
I don't know if you know that, like, um, that was, like, the working that comes to the album because it will burn, but in the long run, it's a whole heck of a lot better. Anyway, so that's my third and third and third and third and third and third and the other thing is we said that we have a really awesome doctor. Because, let's be honest, nothing will, will work out if the doctor isn't awesome and who doesn't know you know, and, and how you feel on a personal level. Well, it's about six minutes into the video. I want longer than I normally do. So, just leave the comments below, like, to share, whatever, and I'll see you next time. Have a good day. Oh, by the way, there is a picture of my family. They're awesome. Alright, have a good night. Bye!